Welcome to the Daily Radio Bible for Kids. The day is November the 22nd. My name is Hunter, and we are reading through the Bible. That's something we do every day. We take time in God's Word. We let His Word take its time on us. Kids from all around the world gather here to listen to these amazing stories from the Bible, from Genesis all the way to the book of Revelation. And today, we're in the book of 2 Corinthians. Paul wrote to the Christians in Corinth about how good it is to be generous. Let's read about it in 2 Corinthians chapter 9. Remember this, a farmer who plants only a few seeds will get a small crop, but the one who plants generously will get a generous crop. You must each decide in your heart how much to give, and don't give reluctantly or in response to pressure, for God loves a person who gives cheerfully. And God will generously provide for all you need. Then you will always have everything you need and plenty left over to share with others. As the scriptures say, they share freely and give generously to the poor. Their good deeds will be remembered forever. For God is the one who provides seed for the farmer and then bread to eat. In the same way, he will provide and increase your resources and then produce a great harvest of generosity in you. Yes, You will be enriched in every way, so that you can always be generous. And when you take your gifts to those who need them, they will thank God. So two good things will result from this ministry of giving. The needs of the believers in Jerusalem will be met, and they will joyfully express their thanks to God. As a result of your ministry, they will give glory to God. For your generosity to them and to all the believers will prove that you are obedient to the good news of Christ. And they will pray for you with deep affection because of the overflowing grace God has given to you. Thank God for this gift. Too wonderful for words. Wonderful. Giving to other people is a great way to show that you yourself are thankful for how generous God has been to you. That's one way to give cheerfully when you remember how gracious and kind and generous God has been with you. That's wonderful. Well, hey, friends, we've done it. We've done it again. We've spent another day in the Bible, and I plan on being back here again tomorrow to do the same thing, Lord willing. Lord willing and the creek don't rise, I plan on being here. Until that time, let's go forward in God's joy. Let's let his joy be our strength. Let us always remember this, that you are loved. No doubt about it. Alrighty, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. You guys take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.